שלום אגן חם מירושלים. Just a little bit the Chuvah Shul, the Chuvah Synagogue. The Chuvah Synagogue was finally re-inaugurated not too long ago, March 15, 2010, but it was 62 years after its destruction. And that destruction occurred at the demolition of the synagogue by the Jordanian forces. They wanted to ensure Jews would never return. And the area upon which this Chorvah was originally built has a long and convoluted history. But the earliest tradition is that this is this place, the shul, existed at the time of Yehuda Nasi, second century leader, uh, leader and the redactor of the Mishnah. In 15th century, a group of Ashkenazic Jews tried to find some way to build something in this area which Muslims at that time did not allow Jews to own land or build anywhere. They built an area in what was called from the 13th century the Ashkenazic compound, and they built what was the Ramban synagogue, a synagogue that still exists there below, underneath where the Chuvah is, synagogue with a lot of pillars. Then the Ottomans confiscated the building. In the winter of 1700, a bunch of around 500 uh, Ashkenazim, led by Yehuda Hasid, arrived from Europe. But soon after, Yehuda Hasid, who asked them to build something here, uh, died. They tried to build, they tried to lend money, borrow money in order to build the shul. Went into extreme debt and the place was then destroyed again, actually burnt down. Later on, again, a group of Jews under the, the instructions of the Vilna Goen uh, come and they decide they were going to redeem the Ashkenazi courtyard and try to rebuild Rabbi Yehuda Hasid's half-built synagogue because by then it was already not called by any other name than the ruins of Rabbi Yehuda Hasid Shul. They rebuilt it and called it the Beit Yaakov. During the War of Israel's Independence, Jordanians took over the old city, to evicted all the Jews, and made a very important point of destroying the synagogue. Jews would never return. And yet, that's not what happened. Following the Six-Day War, the Jews returned, the Israelis returned, at first, they just built up an arch that would be indestructible to represent the ruins that became rebuilt. And then they finally, as we said in 2010, rebuilt the synagogue. And in essence, what they ended up doing was fulfilling a verse. Everything, every step would take in this land ends up fulfilling a verse. So I came out here to take a picture of the Churva as a fulfillment of the verse in Amos 9. I will repair its gaps, its gaps restore its ruins, and rebuild it as the days of old. But I came here for another reason as well. I don't know if you've noticed but while well, I was telling this story, but look around you. Zachariah, old men resting on their canes, children playing on the streets of Jerusalem. Something uncanny going on. Regardless of corona, regardless of the virus, the hatred, the threats, the business slowed down, the economy teetering, despite it all, prophecies continue to be fulfilled every day and at every moment. So every child you see playing here, look in their face because they might be exactly the children that Zachariah saw in his vision. That's what living here in this land is all about.